Hey, John. Hey, Jay. How do you do? How's it going? Jay Hackman of Receiver Gallery. Welcome, friend. In studio. Hi, John. Hey, Chris. How's it going? How's it going? Nice to see you. How you doing? Just doing a casual visit at a receiver today. Just hanging out. Getting ready to take down a show. What show's coming down? We just had a... I was just in a show here with uh, Paul Yerick and... Yeah, it's supposed to come down today, actually. So that's, uh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> so this is your show at Receiver? It is, yes. The final, uh, the final hours. <laughs> the final hours? Yeah. Why is that? Well, technically, this is the last day for this show, so. Oh, oh, oh. I thought it was in relation to the work or something. How long did it take you to put this show together? Um, this is about like three months of work. A couple days for a ball installation. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of um, materials are these? All paintings are all uh, acrylic on canvas with uh, lots of uh, masked out images. Like? It's pretty, yeah, it's all like cut out. Like with an exact pretty much. Wow. Or a lot of it. Some of it's like, you know, free hand stuff, but like yeah. this piece here, like how long did that take you to do? Complete. That was one of the longer ones. That, that was about probably three solid weeks working every night pretty much. So what do you That was the first piece too that was kinda of initiated everything else. So. Mm. so you kinda made the other stuff? Based I off mean, this, or it all just kind of came much, together. Yeah. And then, like as soon as I get one thing solved that I'm really into, then I'll kind of do a bunch to create like a you know a whole body of work, whatever. How about these drawings? And then the drawings actually kind of like intersperse them in between and stuff, just because yeah. we're since these things kind of take a long time to make. Oh well, yeah. It, it gets so monotonous, you know. So I kind of like to work it up with the drawings. Plus, I don't know, I like doing both, so. Paul Yerk stuff. And this is the last day of the show, so it doesn't matter by the time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down to receiver and not see it. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> Paul stuff kind of deals more with like the inner consciousness and the mind and all that kind of stuff. And the topology of how how the brain works and stuff like that, and my stuff kind of related because it's the inner workings of the cosmos. Now we're in the park drinking a beer. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Jay. Hi. <laughs> well, I I should give everyone a little background on Chris. He's a uh, a resident space scientist, if you know anything about um, physics and space theory, um, you might find it a little bit interesting. That's pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. So Chris, where are you from? Actually, well, I'm kind of from all over, but uh, I basically grew up in South Orange County. What brought you to San Francisco? Um, well, I, lived, I went to college in San Diego. What college? San Diego State. How was that? San Diego State. Uh, San Diego is a great place to live, but uh, four years is was plenty. What do you so, like about the uh, Bay Area art scene? Uh, well, mostly that it has one compared to like Orange County, and I don't know it's just nice to live in a place where there's actually some culture and not a bunch of crazy rich white people. But you're a crazy rich white person. Uh, I'm crazy white. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly rich. You are pretty crazy white. <laughs> How would you get a show at Receiver? How would someone go about doing that since you're the curator there? Well, email you a be, lot? No, yeah, yeah, lots and lots <laughs> of emails with huge attachments. Love that shit. Um, uh, I don't, Do we don't even, we don't even, thing or we something? don't even take submissions anymore. Um, oh, I, duh. Because, you know. <laughs> No, we just, we, like, I don't know, it's, it's, 
uh, it's just a, it's a lot of work to do it. And you basically I'm not, have to find Chris in a bar and buy him drinks <laughs> till he's drunk. Yeah. <laughs> no, because we kind of like our our philosophy lately has been really want to have like like relationships with our artists and stuff like that. And it seems to work out better than to uh, just randomly pick someone that um, sends you something. I don't know. It just always seems to work out better. I mean, it's kind of not that it's a, a gamble to pick someone that you don't know, but uh, if you had a uh, there's, there's a lot of time involved with uh, putting together a show and expenses and stuff like that, and and there needs to be a lot of trust between the the, uh, the gallery and the artist, and so the best way to do that is to start off with some sort of uh, relationship, and so. Typically, how it's worked, at least with receivers, it's almost word of mouth. And it seems that you know, I know we're not the. Uh, you guys are you guys are too that. good for everyone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> how would um? No, no, it's, not, it's most, and it's not even by people that I know necessarily. It's it's about like the the community that's the okay. receiver is kind of. How would you? Uh, what would you recommend to someone say who just moved here from? Ohio, and well, they're interested in getting involved. Actually, in the, the easiest way is to go to like an opening and introduce yourself, because that's kind of like you know when it's typically open to um, you know that's kind of like party night. So, and it's usually when I'm um, you know More loose. freely available <laughs> <laughs> well. to talk to, because I'm you know I don't even I'm not always at receiver, and I don't know. That's that would be the that would be the easiest way to do it. <laughs>